Hey, it's Tracy from Kiss and I'm here with a Bantu Not Updated Bantu Not Tutorial. Like I said, I was going to do some videos, um, you know, updated videos since I have a better camera and lighting now and go back to the basics for a lot of you guys. What I did today was a Bantu Not, sorry you guys, I have to look in the mirror because I look like my mom right now. Like, I never look like my mom. I always look more like my dad. But anyways. Uh, this is the Mantu knot I created. Um, I like it. It's nice and soft and, and bouncy and really cute. I did it on a co-washed hair, actually. I will show you the products that I used and how I did it. Um, I did do it on air dry hair, so I didn't go for a long um, Bantu knot set because I had the shrinkage and the roots and all that. So I always get questions about this hairstyle when I do it. Braid outs and bantu knots can be done on any texture hair. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, if you have bone straight hair, if you have frizzy hair, if you have 3A, it could be done on any hair. Of course, products that you would use would be different. If you have thinner straight hair or straight hair, you're not gonna wanna use a moisturizer while doing this style. You can just twist, wash it in on dry, clean hair, do your knots. And then if you have more textured hair that needs to be moisturized, then that's what you do. So uh, again, this is a very good way to create some heatless styles. Um, some of my most prettiest Bantu knots are done on wet hair. But uh, because it is not as hot today, it's a nice 80, like 80 today, well, right under 80. So it, my hair would have never dried for this tutorial. So I went ahead and did this style on air dried hair um i think i covered everything if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them down below okay so i air dried in a bun last night co-washed my hair and i air dried with these two ingredients <clears throat> someone asked me too how do i air dry my hair straight it doesn't get straight as you can tell like it's frizzy um if you look at the edges it's definitely definitely not straight but um I air dried with the two of these like I always do and now I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare the hair figure out where I want my part and I will probably wear bangs Okay. I'm just gonna separate it like that. Now, as far as Bantu knots go, you get, how many Bantu knots you do is going to determine how tight your hair is. So I do want it tight, but I don't want them. I don't want, cause I've done Bantu knots before. My hair is up to here when it gets done. So I'm gonna do about four probably. This is my first one. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a little moisturizer on my hair. Uh, I get the best Bantu knots on straight hair. So, Sometimes I'll blow dry it out first and then blow dry it or flat iron it. But some, usually blow, just putting enough heat to it to blow dry it, especially into my roots, will give me the look that I want. Um, so this will be because I have like all this new growth um, and stuff like that. This will be not a long Bantu knot. Like, it'll have a whole lot of shrinkage. Okay. The next thing is hold. Bantu knots are one of those styles, unlike the braid out, that will fall on you. Like, the braid out will usually last on most people, but braid out, um, Bantu knots fall. So I take sick elements, and I have a few mousses, but this mousse I particularly liked better because it didn't make my hair hard. Like so. I'm gonna put a dab of coconut oil for shine. Again, I have thick hair, so you gotta remember 
um, that when you apply product. You have to, you don't want to over apply product, especially if you have naturally straight hair or looser curls, this will weigh down your hair. So you have to be careful. Probably just the mousse would probably be just enough for you without the moisturizer and everything else. So now I'm twisting. I do not twist it like that the whole way because I lose this grip. I get to the point where I twist it so far and then twist as I go. You see, bam, there's my first one. Now, for my bangs, I'm going to just lightly moisturize them. Put just a tiny bit of oil in it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to kind of twist it and pin it out of the way. But I want it... I wanted it separated because if I a piece of hair this short if I put it inside the bantu knot it'd be extremely short so what I will do is just flat iron it at the end so I will see you in about three or four hours when I take this down I'm back and it's been several hours so I'm hoping that my hair is curled it's been about four or five hours again I did do this on air dry hair so I didn't have to wait for it to wait it's not as hot today so I didn't do it on soaking wet hair because I'll be two days waiting for this stuff to dry so I'm gonna try to find the pins now and remove them again I use uh, bobby pins but you can also use <clears throat> elastic bands but I find when I use elastic bands it seems to leave a crease on the end of my hair you know at the, the ends of your hair it has like a crease from the band and I don't like that now with bantu knots the secret is not to do too much to your hair because if you you don't want it to become frizzy so my hair actually feels a little damp so I guess that is from the <clears throat> from this I don't know but I go, I'm gonna go ahead and separate it. Now there was a couple of points that I forgot to mention during the tutorial. And I don't know if you guys noticed when I uh, created each section for the Bantu knot, I did not take a part and physically part it because it makes the part hard to, um, hard to blend afterwards. So you don't ever wanna do that. Uh oh you guys I think this is a successful Bantu knot considering I haven't done one in like forever <laughs> and the front Oh, 
Okay. And I've taken that last one out. And my bangs are in the way. So let me... <laughs> it's funny how one side always comes out better than the other. Oh, I like it, you guys. Ooh. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of finger it to make sure that black back is blended. These will, that's why I use the uh, mousse. They will fall throughout the day. Not like flat, but as the day goes, I'll get more length from my Bantu knot. <clears throat> now, with the bangs that I pinned back, what I'm going to do is just take my flat iron and just go over it. And for the other side, let's go just over the roots. Did you guys see that? And I'm going to do that all the way around the upper part just to give the illusion that my hair is straightened. Thank you guys so much for talking me into this. Um, you guys have been asking for it and that Ebony C Princess posted pictures on Instagram and I was like, okay, I'm about to do my Bantu knot because that is cute. But let me show you the back. <clears throat> Which I haven't spent much time blending, but hopefully that came out. As you guys can see what I can't see. <laughs> so. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial for night care with this. The hair will go back into the knots and basically that's it. Um, I would not put anything else on it like how I did this the first night. This is just to get that formation going. But if I put this on every night, it would turn white. Um, it would get heavy. and So I'm not going to do that. What I'll do is um, basically just, you know, maybe put just a little bit of moisturizer right at the ends of my hair and just you know rebent to not god bless you and i'll see you on kiss